doing a review on the Jaclyn Hill palette that she collaborated with Morphe. Uh, first, I'd like to start off with just saying that her packaging, A+, plus, like gorgeous. I am in love. And then, so this is the front. So I'm trying to see if you can see it like that. And then this is the back. So pretty. I mean, just everything about it, I love. And then we're going to open it up. And she has a little message that says, this palette is... <laughs> Sorry. This palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jaclyn, which I'm sure you guys have watched a trillion and one reviews and have seen that already. And these are the colors. It, they are, ugh, they're so, so pretty. And you know what? I already did this eye look with them. They just blend like a dream. I am not a great at makeup, let alone, I have never ever done like a orange, red, smoky eye. But I think that, you know, these like since they're so blendable, it's just so easy to use and was able to create just something that looks so like flawless and blended. I am so happy. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to go from there. I am just honestly, I'm so happy with this palette. And I think you know, all the time, the two years that she put into it, it really, really shows. And when you're that dedicated to something, I mean, it's gonna come out amazing. And she knows what she's talking about. She really incorporated just colors that everyone can work with and everyone can use. Cause some people, you know, aren't into the reds and the pinks and stuff, but you know what? You have the greens over here and the dark, like smoky eye colors over here. And you know, if you want to do like a nice light pink eye, you even have, you have gold, you have like all the staple colors you need. At least in my opinion, that's how I feel about this. And I have said, even in one of my other vlogs that I have not bought a palette in like a very long time. So for me to buy a palette means it has to be something special because I don't feel the need to buy palettes con consistently. And I own a lot of neutral palettes and I love that this is not just neutrals and it's different neutrals. Cause you know, sometimes you, you will just get like the brown array or the red array of like neutral colors and like where you get the oranges and stuff like that. Um, and I just, I think she really, really brought all of it together and just made, as I've been saying this whole time, a really wonderful palette and I highly recommend it to everyone. But um, we're gonna start getting into the swatches now. So excited. Um, so yeah, see you okay, So let's get into the swatches. Now, when I first open the package, you get this card that has, you know, her on one side and then the other side is all the shadows. And the names are all on here, which I think is really nice, especially when you're doing tutorials. It's nice to know which one they're actually using. Okay, and then, so as I already showed in the beginning, here's the palette. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go row by row and then just go down. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill palette. These colors are gorgeous. What I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use more the reddish orange tones kind of inspired by my dress. I really really love it. I want to get the names right for you. 
I, when she like first showed these palettes and the swatches, I was obsessed. I believe it's called it's either Roxanne or Jax. Well, I love Roxanne. I think I'm gonna use it. Jax. I'm probably gonna get that one in there too. So those, all these orange colors, and I really want to use. Ooh, it goes this way. This one in my crease is my transition color. But to start off, I'm gonna pull my hair back and use my cat ears. Sorry, I'm just gonna say this ahead of hands. Some of you might notice these are two different colors. It's just how the house is. This one had to be that color, this one had to be this color. I know it's confusing, but I pointed out before some people are like, is that two different colors? You're right, it is. <laughs> okay. So for my first step, I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Bring it down to my lower eyelid because I'm gonna bring some shadow down there. The next step. So I want a base color just to put on my eye first, just to prevent any creasing. So I'm gonna use this color right here. It's very nude toned. It is called In Light. It's very pretty. So we're gonna take that on this brush right here, this little um, eyeshadow brush. And what I'm going to do, since there isn't a mirror on here, I'm gonna use one of her other collaboration. This one has a really beautiful mirror, by the way. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh. This is, this is the perfect nude tone for my eyes. Okay, now that we have our base, I'm gonna go in with um, Creamsicle, which is this beautiful orange. That's honestly a Creamsicle color. And I'm gonna bring that in to my crease. I heard these are super pigmented, so I'm going to go light at first and then we'll build They are pigmented, very pigmented, which is, oh, you get the color you want, which is so nice. And super, super, super blendable. I'm like not even pressing hard and they're blending out. Oh, look, you can see it. Honestly, a dream to blend out. Okay, so we just blended those out. You could see the color. So next we're gonna take Hunt's. It matches my dress so well, I have to put on. And I'm also gonna blend that into my crease with my crease brush, my 221 right back. And we're gonna take that, uh, just dab it in a little bit. And now, since I went all the way in with the orange, I'm only gonna go like to like there, like halfway with this color. Oh, this color's gorgeous. See, I'm only going to there. And then we're just gonna do a ton of blending. Okay. You guys, these are blending together so nicely. Okay, and then I wanna take Mm, I really want to use the one shadow, but I don't know if I should use the other. This is a great problem to have. Taking, I'm going to take Roxanne into the outer outer um, V. I'm going to smoke that on that up, smoke up the eye with that color. So originally what I thought I was going to do was just leave enlightenment on my lid alone, but I saw this color, oops, I saw the color Firework 
and I feel like that needs to go in the middle of my lid right now. So we're gonna do that. Oh my goodness. This is, do you guys see that? My, do you see that? That is crazy. That is so, I know like I've said these are pigmented and everyone said they were pigmented, but what? That is so amazing. What? I'm just packing this color on to the middle of my lid. Okay, now that that is all packed on my eye, I am going to blend it out. Ooh, do you see that? Matches my dress so well. Now that we have firework on the eye, I'm gonna go back into the crease and start blending all these together. I think I'm gonna use the color. I'm gonna use more of a brown. I think that's pukey right there. Pukey. And then we're gonna go back in. After this, this is just, I'm just using that as a transition. This is just a ton of blending, I'm sorry. I know I'm using a million colors, but Kind of want to test them all out as many as I can. I'm gonna use that. And then I'm gonna go back in with Jax. This burgundy, dark burgundy, and I'm just gonna darken it up a little bit. Okay, so now that we have the Jax on one more one more blend i am so sorry i'm going to take go back to creamsicle and just use that just to blend everything together just to pull in the orange and all the reds and stuff i used just one more time i know this is very dramatic looking i promise once we get lashes on everything it will be pulled together this is like so much more dramatic than i even expected it and i love it so I am going to go and do my liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna put a, do a wing. Then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna do the under eye eyeshadow. Put my eyelashes on, mascara, call it, we'll be good. And then finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Hi guys, okay, so I just finished up uh, pretty much the rest of my face. I um, put some, I used, her other, her um, palette with Jaclyn, I used the, oh, there you go, the shade uh, Amaretto, which is that middle brown one as my blush. I did a really light hand, so you might not be able to see it so much with like the amount of light hitting my face right now. And then I mixed uh, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop for my highlight, which you might be able to see. I love these colors, oh my goodness. And then for my lips, now this is a combination of just, it didn't work so you try to make it work type of thing. So I used um, Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is, I think it's called Child Star. And Child Star. I used Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then Namaste uh, by Tarte, and that's their lip paint. I used all these because um, when I first put up this matters for the tutorial, Designed to be a little too dark for my really fair skin currently. Used this to try to lighten up, realized I'm fairer than that, and then used this. So, you know, adds, creates a custom color. Okay, so right now, I am going to finish up this look by doing the under eye, uh, putting eyeliner, some black eyeliner on, and my mascara. So for under the eyes, I want to take, first take butters, I believe. Let me just double check. <laughs> I never want to say the wrong one and then, oh, sorry, why is it called butter? It's creamsicle, of course. So I'm taking that on a dome tip brush like that. And then we're gonna take Hunt's and go halfway. So we went the whole way with creamsicle and we're only gonna go halfway 
with hunts. And then we're only gonna go a quarter of the way with jacks. Okay, look how, oh, I just love it. It's like a gradient of oranges to like a red color, like a burgundy. Love it. So, the last thing that I wanna do is take this gold right here and put that on my inner corner for just a pop. And I'm just using that same dome brush. Okay. One thing I almost forgot to do was put black eyeliner in my waterline. So I'm gonna do that now. You guys, my final thoughts on this palette is that I love it. I truly really can create so many looks with this palette. I think it is worth every dollar. Um, I'm not sure. I was like looking, is this limited edition? Or I, I'm not sure if I like heard them say that it was limited edition or not. I'm hoping it isn't if there's another launch. And I think she mentioned there might be. I'm not, don't quote me on that. But I think there is potentially going to be another one. Um, probably going to get another because I just, I love these colors. And she spent so much time. And you can really, really tell um, just through the quality that she really wanted this palette to be great for all her subscribers and I'm a big fan of hers and I'm just so happy that this palette truly lived up to the hype.